So I hung out with my family last Christmas, and one night after we finished eating out, we were walking through town and we went past a fountain. My almost four-year-old niece got really excited because a fountain to a four-year-old is like a kiddie pool that your parents never let you play in. She started screaming, coin, coin! Now, the only thing funner than seeing a small object splash through water is taking your parents' money away. I don't know why, but everyone in society has agreed that it's fun to throw money away in fountains. I think the tradition started with wishing wells, and then it somehow morphed into any body of water surrounded by concrete has supernatural powers that need money to work. Yeah, I'll grant you immortality. If you give me a dollar. And what does an almost four-year-old child even have to wish for? Unless her wish is to always stay young, I can't think of anything in your life that needs changing. I'm getting off into a tangent here, but what's even the fun part of wishing fountains? Is it the big splash? Because if so, watch this! <laughs> Or maybe it's the validation you receive participating with society submerging a coin next to its coin comrades. <laughs> now I'm just like everyone else. At least with those spinny coin donation tubes, you at least get to see your coin go on a magical orbit as it slowly gets pulled towards a black hole. <laughs> that was fun, but I'm keeping this. Someone has to clean those fountains, you know. I wonder if they get paid in the coins they collect. That can either be the worst job or the best job ever. Did you know the Trevi Fountain in Rome can make up to 3,000 euros in one day? And in 2016, 1.5 million euros were thrown into the fountain. What if instead of throwing coins into the fountain, you throw it into my bank account? Hey, Jim, how much did you make today? Well, I made almost 3,000 euros, Bill. How about you? Someone threw in this big rock. I just feel like there's a better way to make your wishes come true than throwing your quarters away. I wish for a quarter. No, two quarters. Wow, it does work. Anyways, I digress. So my almost four-year-old niece is screaming, coin, coin, and it's 2017. No one carries cash on them anymore, especially not coins. I only have my debit card on me and I'm not ready to part with that. So I asked my parents, hey, do you have any coins? And they both said, what do we look like to you, poor? I knew what had to be done. I had to do what any good uncle would do. The only coins that were attainable were the coins already in the fountain. So I rolled up my sleeves and reached into the fountain to grab some doubloons. <laughs> And right when I was doing this, a fan recognized me and said, James? Uh, it's not what it looks like. I mean, who? So that was probably a weird sight to see. A YouTuber reaching into a fountain for coins. The adpocalypse hit me pretty hard. But I was doing it for my almost four-year-old niece, all right? I got the coin I needed, handed it to my niece, and she proceeded to throw it back into the fountain. And everyone was happy. And that's the end of the story. It's kind of short, but I wanted to do something different with this video to show off all these amazing animators. A link to everyone who worked on this video can be found in the description, so please check them out. Anyway, I'm just going to end the video now. Thanks for watching, and as always, wear your seatbelt.